My name is Darren Batterson. I'm from Ottumwa, Iowa. My dog's name is Digger's Blue Spot. I do it for fun. I've done it for 43 years. This is my fourth generation dual grand. Well, you can tell by how she, her demeanor is. She's pretty mellow, pretty easy, and all of them have been that way that I've raised. Um, I've, every dog I've had, I raised from a puppy, and I keep them till they die. She's a lover. She's got a lot of grit. She was a little dog. Now, my wife actually bottle fed her when she's a puppy. She was one of 13 puppies, and she's not afraid to get into a coon. If you looked at this dog, you wouldn't even think she would go hunting. But when you, at night, you turn the leash, they take off, throw gravel in your face. They want to go, that's what they love to do. They're no different than an athlete waiting for the game. I'm David Gilman. I live in Fielden, Illinois. And this is Gilman's Rebel's Redneck Roll. He's a very personable dog. He's uh, everybody's buddy. And he likes the attention. <laughs> he's a he's a lot of fun to have around the place and he's a really really good coon dog. I raised him from a puppy and he's out of my stud dog rebel and I, he was, I raised his mother too so he, we've had him raised him since he was a little guy he's, he's never left the house. <laughs> I don't think he's going anywhere either. We won a national dual champion at Autumn Oaks last fall and he's he's the first black and tan national dual champion and to have one of them at my kennel is very very prestigious award all right my name is chris bowling and i'm from uh, manchester kentucky this is uh old south stylish knockout i've uh bought him when he was uh, around about four months old had him ever since done all the training and uh, hunting he's he's been uh, been the best one i've 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 had personally and Probably haven't hunted with any more, a whole lot better than him. You know, he's just a special bun. He gives me everything he's got every time I turn him loose. And man, I love to follow him. I just wish I had more time. He's kind of a uh, a one-person dog in a way, and at the same time, oh, they've been multiple people handled him in different different places. But if I'm around, it's almost like he's afraid to. He's almost like he don't want to uh, have anything to do with anybody else if I'm not there. Oh, you know, it's. I guess he knows that I'm the boss and he wants to please me. My name's John Strickland. Uh, I'm from Springfield, Kentucky. Um, this is Doug Galbraith, a partner in the dog. Um, this is Project Apollo, also known as Sundown and Grand Night Champion uh, Sundown, National Grand Night Champion. Um, this little dog we won Autumn Oaks with this year. Um, uh, he just turned two years old and uh, Hopefully, if nothing happens, he's got a bright future. And this little dog, he, like I said, he's young. He still acts like a puppy. We turn him loose in the yard at home sometimes, and he runs around and, and my daughter and rolls in the grass and plays. And so he's he's about as much puppy as anything I've hunted. I'm I'm typically known to hunt a five, six, seven year old dog, and this is the first young one I've hunted in a long time. And and it takes a it takes a lot of a lot of patience for sure. Uh, this dog goes back to his daddy was Power Pack, and I owned Power Pack, owned and trained him. And then his granddaddy was a, a real popular, famous hound named Bad Habit. I, I actually owned him, so he goes back to my old old bloodline, and, and um, that wasn't that really was it by design. I, I stumbled across the dog and, and bought him, and really didn't re realize what he was off of until uh, I'd owned him for three months down the road and realized, well, heck. He, he does have the traits to dogs I'm used to hunting because he's off of them. My name is Eric Bowling from southeastern Kentucky. His name is Touchdown, and we call him Melvin, though, AKA Melvin. He's a two and a half year old tree and walker dog. But we've all grown to love him. He's, he just does what he's gotta do to win, you know? Well, he's, just, he's, he's real friendly with, with everybody. And, he loves to be loved, don't he? Yeah, oh, he's, he's a big baby. Oh, you get close for your hounds. You do. My daughter can play with him, and my wife feeds him and yeah. takes care of him. My daughter. There's several of us hunting. Yeah. And now uh, I've got a co owner, uh, Casey Magger, who yeah. owns half of him. And Robert Barker. We all take turns of hunting him, and so he stays in the woods a whole lot. He's been in the house, but we don't, <laughs> we don't let him, he don't stay in. He's got his own kennel. 